My name is Ron Ellis, and I am researching the poaching of the African elephant. The African Wildlife Foundation, an international conservation nonprofit, estimates that as many as 35,000 elephants are killed each year in Africa. They are harvested for their ivory tusks, but the poachers don't think about or don't care about the other things they are affecting other than the elephants' lives. These elephants are a keystone species as they dig up waterbeds when rainfall is low and trample grasslands making room for smaller species as well as disperse seeds through their dung. Poaching causes some implications among humans because the meat isn't inspected by the government so these meats after not being inspected correctly can cause foodborne illnesses. The sphere poaching is involved with is the biosphere. Illegal ivory trafficking has been a threat to African elephants for a while now. Despite the ban on the ivory trade, there are, they are still being poached in large numbers. The ivory is typically carved into some sort of jewelry or commodity and then sold for a large profit. So the demand for ivory has been high for these money-driven poachers. Some groups of people who have been affected by the poaching are people who use elephant meat as means to survive. Since they have been poached so much, there is a limited amount of elephants allowed to be harvested for their meat, so the, uh, the government reduces the amount of elephants to be killed. Uh, some political tensions have also risen where there is a side of the political spectrum asking for more money towards conservation of the elephants. That being said, there still has been some major work towards conservation through some amazing programs like the African Elephant Conservation Fund, which is constantly battling poachers and offering financial support. One other sphere that is affected by the illegal poaching of these elephants is the hydrosphere. These elephants dig up dried water beds when rainfall is low, and without elephants to dig the water up, you can see how this creates a chain reaction and affects the other animals that need water when rainfall is low. Other than that, I wouldn't say it crosses too much into the other spheres, but that being said, it still is an important matter.